let's get started, shall we? Hello to the YouTubes and all of that stuff. Bruh, am I excited? Yeah, our internet's fine. I was just talking about that. I don't know if you saw it yet. I don't know how far behind it is for you guys. Our internet's fine. It's Twitch. 13 years later. So I'm assuming this is right after we got dragged away. After watching our friend get crushed by that giant rock. Welcome back. Thanks, man. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. That's uh that's reasonable. That would be our friend. Or what's and left of them, at least. It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Biast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. Bro, that's got to be terrible for the blade. After you do. That is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Let's freaking go, dude! Oh, trophies. Cool. A chance encounter. The iconic abilities Scarlet, Cyclone, and Heatwave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the Abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired new abilities, abilities, <laughs> abilities must be equipped on the Gear and Icons tab. Cool, okay. Um, ooh, okay, this is all new. I mean, I've seen like a little bit of this from the Iconic Challenge in the demo, but... Oh, that's right, dude. The map. Okay, yeah, the map is much larger now that we're out of the demo. I don't know if it was so small before because we were in the demo, or if it was because uh, it was just the prologue, or what. But before, like, the only section of the map we could actually see was here. And then, like, what you can see from here, and that's it. So there's the... That must be the fire crystal. That makes sense since we had, like, fire abilities and stuff. That may be the ice one. I don't know what that one would be. Where's the... There's supposed to be five mother crystals, I think. That little island down there makes me think DLC or something. There's another one there. We're here. Is that another one? Hmm. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to actually leave yet. Journal. I already know what we're doing there. Items. Whatever. So, attributes, huh? Ooh, party members. I can't do anything with them, but... Okay, can't do anything with any of that either. Gear and icons. Phoenix. Ah, so here we can change it. So we got a new one. We got Scarlet Cyclone. It's a little bit behind chat there, which is annoying. But spin quickly, creating a ring of fire that burns all enemies in range. Okay. You're a little hungry, but you don't know what you want? I'm sorry, love. I had a salad with uh, tuna and a couple eggs. It was good. I'm not going to lie. So did our stuff... I still don't understand what the master thing does, man. <laughs> I don't know if the game ever ends up explaining that. Charge magic is whatever to me. Taunt is whatever. Down thrust? Eh. Lunge. Flames of rebirth. Summon a massive pillar of fire that your enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring lives HP. Hmm. <laughs> Heat wave. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame? Is that what that says? <laughs> it's behind the chat. It's hard to see. 
Launching several deadly shockwaves, wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. Interesting. Well, this one is expensive, but that would be cool to learn. Phoenix shift we got. Already. Rising flames we were given and scarlet cyclone we were given. Or rising flames we had. We were given scarlet cyclone. You know, I think we'll just hold on... Burning blade... I think we'll just hold it for a moment. Although I am tempted to master that just because I want to know what the hell mastering does. You had Wendy's? Wendy's is good, man. Noodle and I had Wendy's a couple days ago. Chicken patties? Ooh. That's Noodle's go-to. <laughs> you literally had chicken patties for lunch, dude. Like... <laughs> I feel like, so I was looking up the differences. I might end up playing through the prologue again at some point, just like on my own time. But I was looking up like what are the differences between the, the prologue and the demo and the prologue and the game itself. And the only difference I saw anybody post about was that uh, apparently they censored some stuff for the demo, which, uh, oh boy. <laughs> But other than that, it's apparently the same. So I might still end up doing it on my own time at some point, or maybe like a second playthrough, but... I'm not as worried about doing it like right away. The sounds of the crackling ice, dude? Come on. Holy shit, my guys. Can we fall? No, okay. I didn't figure the game would let us win, but had to try. Oh. I think we can fall down there, but can we go around? Can you say you have comfort foods? Fair. Nothing wrong with having some comfort foods. You just eat a lot of your comfort foods, dude. <laughs> like, it's your main source of nutrition sometimes. Is this... Oh. No, okay. They're definitely employing some visible, invisible walls here. I mean, they never claimed the game was open world, so that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Explore every nook and cranny, man. I can't wait until they release the patch that'll let us, like, remove Down motion there. blur and shit, dude. I hate motion blur so much. It annoys the shit out of me. It really shouldn't, but it so, does. Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Ah, dude, for real? Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith. Wait, backwards what? People. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Is that not Jill? Did Jill become Shiva? Bro, that's definitely Jill. And aren't we meant to kill her? What alvation now came Alan Scully asked. But she was like a sister to us growing up, dude.
Hold up. We're not actually gonna kill her though, right? <laughs> like... Don't tell me what to do. Oh, that was pretty cool. I don't even know how I did that, but... I don't want to fight her, man. I'm pretty sure that's like our sister, dude. God damn it, I guess I have no option. What was that, my guy? What's Scarlet Cyclone? And then the Rising Flame, the one that we've had, okay. Ow, dude, she is kicking my ass. She's fast. Damn, dude. Oh, brosive. Okay. Do we still have... I'm not going to use them, but just because I'm curious. Do we still have... Those, like, OP items from... We do. Yeah, I'm not going to use them, though. They just feel like cheating. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Damn, dude. Ah, oh, we can't do that in combat. That makes sense. I was trying to get some info on her. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure this is Jill, dude. Our childhood friend and sister, essentially. Like, Clive can't catch a break, man, if that's the case. Hit her, dudes. I'm assuming she's going to be, like, almost dead, and then Clive's going to realize who she is. Get away from the Blizzaga. That's the orders. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not stopping her from kicking her ass, my guy. I noticed that like our health there's like the darker green area and then the lighter green area I wonder if the like lighter green is what automatically refills as long as we don't take damage and then like the darker green is our true health I I think it's something like that but like right now we're not reheal we're not healing anything is it? Nah, I don't know how it works, dude. There's definitely something to it, though. Like, why else would it have the light green and dark green? And, like, right now we're healing some automatically. Get wrecked, girl. Come on, bro. Bros, hit her. Help me out a little bit. God, these AI dudes suck. There we go. Okay. Oh, Shiva defeated. Some experience. Cool, cool. Money. Frozen tear. 
And as she fought, she shed tears of ice which shattered on the bloodstained earth below. Dalmechian soldiers' account of the Battle of Nyssa, Year of the Realm 873, used for crafting. So we got a crafting system. Steel silk. Rare case in which hyperbole has played no role in the item's nomenclature. Steel silk is every bit as strong as steel, yet soft as silk, making it a popular choice for tailors tasked with crafting durable armor that does not hinder movement. Also crafting item. Okay, okay. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so I know the branded soldiers. Bear is forced to fight for the nations that enslave them, able to cast powerful magics yet entirely disposable. They're often placed on the front lines in battle. Okay. So that's, yeah, we're the bastards. I got all that. Shiva. Hmm. No new info. Bruh, I, uh, I mean, they made it pretty obvious, but come on, dude. No, no, that's not you. Not here. I'll bloody do it then. Oh, bro. That didn't feel good. Why? Who tasked us with killing her, anyways? Like, sorry, Jill. Why are we doing this to begin with? What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Oh, cool. We got a free heal too. Dominant. I know her. What do you mean? I'm here. I'm helping you right now. Chill, dude. <laughs> Bruh. The little cinematic moments sometimes are just over the top. <laughs> just freaking kicked him into kingdom come, dude. Let's go. Get wrecked. Good guy, Clive. Let's go. Betray. I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Let's go, dude. I don't. The empire will have our heads if we turn empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. Bruh, I mean, you might. <laughs> Bro. Oh, good job. We were, we were way too far away for that dodge to <laughs> to matter. Nerds donuts? That sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> no, I mean, I imagine it probably wouldn't actually be all that bad, right? Because it's like... Nerds are like fruity, a little bit sour, so I don't know, man. It just sounds weird to me, though. I guess it wouldn't be that different from like sprinkles. They're just 
flavored sprinkles. Speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. You will Let's die. go get you wrecked. Thirteen years ago. What is this? Okay, that doesn't end right away. <laughs> Damn, dude. You sure about that, Mr. Tiamat, sir? I do kind of feel bad for killing him or at least beating him here. I'm not going to lie. Because, like, he was our, our, our brother in, in arms, at least. Damn it. Damn it! Get wrecked. Maybe decent similar to the Fruity Pebble stuff. I okay, you got them for free. I mean, hey, a free donut's a free donut. Nothing to complain about there, dude. Level 11, 50 HP. Is it still just two of everything? No, we got two attack, three defense, two stagger, two strength, three vitality, two will. Okay. Why right? What is that? To most, this nondescript lump of rough-hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more, for the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. Ooh. A meteorite. Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from the celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war. Or so it is believed. We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. I do feel a little bit bad, man, like I said. Because he didn't seem like a bad guy, just maybe a little too loyal to the nation that enslaves him. Okay. Is that the the lightning god? I forget his name. It's our dog. Let's go, dude. This way. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but my God. Well, come on, lad. I mean, we got our dog, we got our sister. I'd say it's a pretty good day. <laughs> also, screw this lady. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the ice queen on her back. No doubt. But 
you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. Where is Titan? Is he still alive? We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. I see they're acquainted. Blood will tell. Nice. That's a new one. Jill. Is it really you? 100% my guy. Who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life. That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. <laughs> He's not a fan, I take Why? it. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clyde Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now, so who are you? You gonna tell us that? <laughs> she seemed worth muddying my boots for. I keep wanting to check the like codex, but I don't want to interrupt the cutscene constantly going into it either. <laughs> None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. <laughs> Big dude's fucking well, hilarious, dude. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Okay, I'm going in the codec. Uh, Jill, dominant of Shiva, apparently, and Clive's childhood friend. In the depths of the Nisa defile, the two came to blows of the orders of the armies that enslaved them, Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom. Clive obeying the Emperor's order or Empire's orders to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blade, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. Sidolphus Telamon, huh? Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the nest of the file, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Okay, so not actually gonna give us like any new info. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's fair enough, I suppose. They can't just give everything away. I was hoping for something new, though. I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm sure we'll learn more about him as time goes on. But damn it, I want to know now. So I'm guessing the chains on the map... Are those, like, the borders of each kingdom? How the fuck did that even happen? Wait, what? How did what even happen? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> also, 1243. Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. Um, The Twitch, that is. It was pretty bad at the beginning, so that may have set it back a little bit. But, like, looking at my screen here, it's only... 
maybe a minute behind or something like that. It might get better if I refresh it too. Because the connection's solid at the moment, but at the for the first like half hour or so, it was pretty shit. One, two, three. Yeah. Once I refresh the page, it's only like three seconds behind for me or something. It's not too bad. Alright, well, we can only go one place, so we might as well go to that one place, huh? I just don't really understand what all the chains are, though. I'm curious. So I love how we walked from like the south of this continent to the middle and like but we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Oh, Joe becoming Shiva? Yeah, like for real. That's weird as shit, dude. Many no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. Guess that's why they call it the Deadlands. The last place anyone would think to look. I'm thinking, like, we just don't understand how the dominants work, dude. Like, meeting Joshua, I just assumed, like, you were either blessed at birth or not. But, like, I still believe Clive is Ifrit, and nobody knew that. And I doubt anyone knew Jill was Shiva, or, like, they probably wouldn't have accepted her into the, the kingdom there. And raised her with you know, the, the boys here, if she could just turn into a giant ice witch and murder everybody at any moment, <laughs> like... The Hideaway, Central Storm. Ah, a bunch of dudes living here, huh? We got Moogles! Let's go, dude! This place... These are fallen ruins. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm. Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, sorry. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her feet. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. The belt, is that what the Hold chain's around. called? I'll be in my soul. <laughs> hide hideaway I'm guessing this is going to be like our hub for missions and shit uh, detail map of your current area main scenario destinations are marked with a whatchamacallit the hideaway or the deadlands barren waste bereft of ether where no life stirs and magic is all but unusable here both earth and water are stained black preventing any seed from quickening in recent years, the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation, leaving silent devastation in its wake. The Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valesthea. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods, so the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Makes sense. Resonant... Physiker? <laughs> Whatever. We'll learn more about you later. Uh, so how do we get the detailed map of our current location? Oh, you just press it instead of holding it. That makes sense. Okay. Because I thought it showed the touchpad, but I was confused, man. The fat chocobo? Let's go, dude. So Sid Solar, if I'm not mistaken, the red ones like that, those are the main story missions. These must be just locations. Storeroom, faucets, reservoir. I don't see any side missions yet. I do know side missions exist in the game, though.
<laughs> Man, a few words I see. I like it. Is there anything of interest around here? The washroom floor's all mended then. It'll hold for now. I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. Blackthorn's probably the smith. The one that just grunted at us a couple of times. Now they mentioned the water being blackened, but it doesn't look too bad. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Okay. So is it just like here in the center that the blight hasn't ruined everything, or is the blight just not real? <laughs> Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I wasn't born no slave. Also, aren't you branded? Yeah, you definitely are. If she can remove brands, then like. Would you rather you went without? If she can remove brands, why you still got yours on, dude? Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. Is there like a run quicker button? No. Didn't really expect there to be, but couldn't help but check. That's a door. The game's a bit dark, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I have it turned up all the way. But it's a bit dark. Right? I'm pretty sure I have it turned up all the way. Screen brightness. Yeah, 10. I see where we're supposed to go, but anybody else to talk to? spent the whole morning on this. Spoonie bard. His yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just checking on like my second monitor. The game's definitely not meant to be this dark. So hold on one sec. I might be able to fix it. Uh, maybe. Hopefully. Aha! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. That's better. Fix my monitor now. So normally when I'm playing on PS2, I have to have everything set to a uh, limited color space. Um, otherwise it's too dark. <laughs> but for whatever reason with the PS5 here, apparently I need to have it set to full color space or it's too dark. It is much easier to see now. Just concerning. Do you want to tell us more or no? Okay. <laughs> Just, something's concerning. We need not worry about it though. Now that I know that though, should we turn down the brightness of the actual game or not? That's default. I'm going to turn it up like one click from default. It doesn't look bad now. Yeah. Because, I mean, I got the feeling it's meant to be like dark and moody in here, but not literally can't see anything dark. I take it back. I'm going to turn it back up a little bit. <laughs> There you go. We'll split the difference. Make it eight. Call it good enough. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her.
All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clyde Rossfield. We are very untrusting. The bearer of the Sambrequois Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. Fair, fair. And it's also why we need help from Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? I'll just say yes, dude. <laughs> Stop your brooding. Just say yes. What else are you going to do? Was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The phoenix is evil to eat. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Maybe our two Which goals can, like, join us. intertwine? I told Possibly? You I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Just accept the help, my guy. <laughs> Best mate ready then. Running around on your own, especially now that you're a deserter, isn't gonna make anything easier. Like, have fun. The main hall, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not going to listen to the bard again. Walk there. Ah, it's Gots. Hello, sir. Is it... Oh, no. Goats, was it? Perhaps Goats, you can help. my bad. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well... Uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, 
No, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. So I've noticed. Not exactly the friendly type. Continental rum. Ah, uh, gotta butter him up with some rum. There. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? What are you here for, dude? <laughs> like, is it not your job to care for people's equipment when they go out on missions? <laughs> Continental Realm, a noisome spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas than consumption. Grants overworked conscripts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. Yummy. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. <sighs> Damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mine. So this is the crafting system? Crafting a new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a smith's station as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and press X to craft or upgrade. Uh, Reinforce? Nothing. Okay. Well, we can make an iron belt plus one with some iron filings. More leather than iron, it is nonetheless considered an improvement from the crude cording worn by Ackerman and Acolytes. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and equip it. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. I'm going to try moving to the left side. Seems like most of the text is on the right, and that's more annoying than anything. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Charon's Toll, Charon's Toll, and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer. Is that Nan Shop? Charon's Toll? Anyways, okay. There are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. Uh, gold icon will also appear in game as well as the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should think goods. I'm busy here. Uh, use the forge. forge Apparently, we got a new recipe, so. Broadsword plus one. Iron bracers plus one. Does it show? It does. Okay, so that's eight more defense than what we currently have. That's 15 more attack and stagger. Not bad. Oh, damn it. No matter where it's at, it's in the way, dude. <laughs> Broadsword plus one. Broadsword plus two. So, wait a second. Was this... That was already a broadsword plus one. Bring me the materials, and I'll think about it. We don't have enough wire, right? Iron belt plus two. More defense, not bad. But we probably don't need it right now. Uh, We have everything to make... Bracers. And? We might end up doing that. Let's check out the the shop, right? You take it back and tell that blockhead I'm not paying for stuff I didn't ask. Okay, well, can't do that yet. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like.
He's having a bit of a rough go of it, is he not? Right. Are you making comfortable while the bed's made up? <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? <laughs> Wait, me? It's a great question, dude. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Well, go on. Shift your ass. I think we can handle that. Was Taya the one looking after Jill? <laughs> Stand in front of this dude, do a couple hops. <laughs> Look at me. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? But, bruh, I literally just said... I did say so. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I kind of like Clive. <laughs> Maybe he's not so bad after all. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Is anybody going to tell us what the hell happened to him? So many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. I don't think she's going to be too happy. <laughs> so. oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome here. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. The way, like, goats is scared to her, dude, <laughs> I'm not positive she's going to be too happy to help us out. Now for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs, they indicate, indicate <laughs> they have a quest to offer. This is the current and completed quest we viewed on the journal. After accepting a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Valisthea. A personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Cool. Who are these people? So what are the what are the tomes? I am curious about that. Do you think we should go and help? Don't Sounds think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that I'll I'll be back to talk to you. Hold on. <laughs> you, wizened man, what kind of tomes do you Your have? This is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? I am. You could indeed. say that. Well then. Allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, 
My days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. I would, if you have anything interesting to tell. Um, first, tell us more about yourself. When I was very young. Okay. Oh, do we have to read it ourselves? When I was very young and lived beyond these shores, my father would read to me every night from the only book we had, A History of Valisthea by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by this realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley, that I might Yet, see it with my own eyes. When I arrived... Yet when I arrived, what I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by blight and the evil in men's heart. Still, I was determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could, and so I did, in all manners of places and in all manner of roles, until my aging legs could carry me no longer. Fortunately, Sid found me by the roadside, so to speak, and offered me a place here, where I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. Hmm. No, I did not. It was a little early when I, I came up, so I didn't feed her. Read this particular chapter before. Aw, oh, dude, I love the little... That's cute, dude. If you have a question for me, I should be happy ah, to answer. Ah, okay. So this is like... I'm assuming this is just all of the stuff. Magic? Ether? Crystals? Mother crystal? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> close, close all. So is this just like all of the stuff that we can use this menu to see? Just like all put together? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right, Kenneth. Kenneth, the kitchen head. Ah, a new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Food for thought. Uh, sure. Oatmeal. Three bowls of salt How broth. Has it been? Serve Kenneth soup. Really? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> this, you can kind of tell this was made by the dudes that made Final Fantasy XIV. This is a very MMO side quest, dude. <laughs> Just serve some soup to people. Food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, Ben. See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Ah, isn't he sweet? Thank you. <laughs> you dung had so many uses. Bro, that's kind of gross. <laughs> what are you using dung for? I'm hoping just fertilizer. <laughs> Maybe fires, depending on the type of dung. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. It wasn't so long ago us old hands were rattling about the place like peas in a bucket. If 
think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but... Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. That's he rude. Took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Sure thing, sir. Sure thing. I got a feeling we're not leaving this place as quickly as we had hoped. <laughs> hey, more ri wire right too. To most, this nondescript lump of rough-hewn stone. I think, yeah, we've gotten that before. Duh, I literally just said more wire right. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of dumb. Don't mind me. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open with X and read the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, he did tell us we could have it, so I guess it's not technically stealing. Uh, Under gear, I presume? Badge of metal. The strength of a city is defined by the guard that mans its walls. The strength of a city guard is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels on their breasts. This badge provides its wear with one of the two. Yeah, we'll equip that. Ten extra defense. Not bad, not bad. Okay, there was another side quest around here somewhere. There it is. More money before we go shopping sounds good to me. Step away to fetch any. This lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. Why not, I'd dude? Be happy to. Oh, oh good. Twitch seems to be You'll fucking be up again. Me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. That's not that bad. Looks like you've got your As of now, at least. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. Or first I harvest? This wood. Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. So... Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Is this a new settlement, or...? I presume maybe it's just a new patch, a new vegetable patch. So there's no way this is a new settlement, right? Certainly doesn't seem like a new one. Wait, was this open before? This looks new. Uh, another newcomer. You mind the rules round here? Or our next chat will be through the bars. We got a jail. I mean, okay, gotta do something with the people that don't listen, I suppose. He 
excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Bro, it's like three steps away and y'all are just chilling here talking. Why couldn't <laughs> why couldn't you just walk it over to him? Here we are. I'd better get this to Jeffrey, was it? We like no, okay. <laughs> I just wonder if we could like run into these people, make them drop their stuff. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. None at all, my guy. Take your one wood this plank. will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Make do and mend. Meteorite and a gill bug. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it is highly sought after by physicers who for use in brewing medicines. In summer, when the beetles are most numerous, children across the realm will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. As children have tiny hands, however, this amounts to fewer than one might expect. <laughs> That's cute. Well, only one thing left to do now, I guess. Let's talk to Nan. <laughs> I hope she doesn't chop her head off. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive. I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Fair enough. What do you got? Shops. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops. Yep, that's usually how it works. So instead of making a broadsword, we can buy one for 500 gill. Same with the iron bracers. Also got some potions and things that we don't really need. Um... Well, before we buy anything from you, I mean, we can probably sell off, yeah, this. I don't think we'll be needing our old belt. Keep all of our supplies. That's all. I want to talk to the blacksmith first. If we're given the opportunity, I guess. <laughs> After all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. dog is pretty sick dude so what is that stuff guessing just like potions and things
Oops. <laughs> My bad. The Aredi Stone is now accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner manners of enemies. Additional options become available as Clive progresses through the story. Uh, sure. Do we get anything for this? Or, like... Is it literally just a test? I'm thinking, like, the the virtual, the VR missions in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Fully customizable battlescape. Open the training menu to adjust both enemies and ally parameters. Ooh. Ooh, invincibility, regen, burst timing, recast timers. Ah, enemy aggro, invincibility, select target. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so this literally is just like a training room. That's kind of neat, though. Oh, it even shows the input on the screen there. Maybe we can use this to figure out how to do the freaking that. Why is that working so much easier now all of a sudden? <laughs> My bad, dude. Wait, is that are we just magic bursting? No, because th that's just called magic. Okay, kill this one. Get another one in here. Do you not do one after the final combo, or am I just fucking it up? Yeah, it seems like you can't do one after the fourth, unless... Ah, uh, you can definitely do one after the fourth when you do nothing but the sword strikes. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to work otherwise. Okay. That's cool. So I wonder... Okay, one more thing I want to try. If we do the magic burst a couple of times and then finish our combo. Like, say I do it once here at the beginning and then attack, attack, attack. So it worked there. Just not there. Either that or I just keep fucking up the timing on just the last one, which, I mean... It's definitely a possibility. I fucked it up there. Hmm, okay. How do we... How do we exit? We have... Ooh. Ooh. Ah, that's lock on. I was wondering how we did that. Is it in the menu? Did I just miss it? Enemy invincibility, select target. End training. Triangle. There it is. Got it. I mean, that's a neat thing, I guess. I wonder what the other options will be eventually. That's bright as shit. You're all done. Nobody's going to question us. Activating that thing? Ah, yeah. It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Fast travel. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. Uh, well, real quick, before we do that... Talk to the blacksmith again. Quick. Sorry, would it be? So we could make the broadsword plus one, or we could just buy it. If we buy it... We can then reinforce.
force it to a level... Well, it's just a regular one, so we'd have to do that and that. Which we do have enough for. It doesn't actually cost all that much. So we could get straight to a broadsword plus two. And an iron belt plus two, I th think. Yeah. And then... Also buy the iron bracers? Yeah, else? let's... If we have the money, let's just buy both pieces of equipment and then see how far we can upgrade them. Because I think we can upgrade all of it. And what do you want? Go on, then. It is kind of pricey. How much is the... Bracers are 400. That is basically all of our money, but screw it. Blind, you know. I mean, robbing you blind. I'm paying you, dude. <laughs> how am I robbing you blind? You're literally taking my money. Well, sorry, what it be? So reinforce, broadsword plus one, me later. broadsword plus two, the best work, but it'll do. and then meteorite 101. So what gives us more? That'll give us two HP, three defense. That'll get us up to six and two. Three and two. Okay, yeah. So the bracers are the better to upgrade. I should do you. Your best work, but it'll do. Anything else? Nope, that'd be it. Thank you, kind sir. Yes. What? Uh, I would like if to sell my crap, to... if you don't mind. <laughs> Imperial infantry blade. I don't think we're gonna else? be needing that anytime soon. And the bracers. I I can find a buyer. And keep the other crap. Come again. Yeah. Oh, don't. I'm not All much right. bothered either way. With that, guys, we're not ending for the night. God, no. But I do need to get a refill of my water, stretch my legs a little bit. So we're going to take a short break, like three to five minutes, and then play some more. So BRB. It's like right up my alley. And honestly, like, we, we get those pre-made pizza doughs. Um, they're from the deli at our Walmart. I don't know if they, they have them at all Walmart delis or not. Uh, but that's where we get them from. And they're, they're pretty decent. But honestly, like, it's relatively hard to work with every time we get them, except for once. Whereas, like, my homemade dough isn't. It's, it's actually pretty easy to work with. And it doesn't, since we own a stand mixer, it doesn't take that much extra time to just make our own dough. So that's probably what I'm going to do in the future is just make my own. It's just uh, like 20 minutes, you know, to throw everything in the bowl, let it let it mix up, and then let it proof while you're like preheating the oven or whatever. Whoa. Doc's alive, everyone. Hi, Doc. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badger wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Since we're on the topic, what the heck makes a good chicken sandwich? I have the pre-cooked chicken stuff, and I made a sandwich with provolone cheese, Miracle Whip, and red onions, but I can't think of anything else to put on it. Um... So if you have the pre-cooked chicken in a can, I would make a chicken salad out of it. Uh, so like shred the chicken as finely as you can. Mix it with your Miracle Whip and onions, uh, like finely diced onion right in it. Uh, some pickle in there, a little bit of mustard. And then if you like hot sauce, a little bit of hot sauce is really good in it as well. Um, Noodle and I are both big fans of vinegar, so we also put like a little bit of vinegar in it. But like, I understand vinegar is not necessarily for everyone though. Got the frozen version. Does it still count? Uh, probably. I've never done it with the the frozen stuff before. But I mean, I, I would just you know warm it up, shred it to hell and back, and yeah, it would probably be pretty good. I don't see why not. Honestly, uh, the the frozen stuff that I get has more flavor than like the canned or bagged stuff. So, I mean, if anything, it would probably just make it taste a little bit better. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh, yes, I remember now. They were children. 
The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? I mean, not exactly, little, little dude, but it's like similar in some ways, I guess. Okay, I'm assuming we're still looking for like the fuse or plug or whatever. Probably blitz it up in the food pro processors. <laughs> blitz it up in the food processor. Holy hell, why is that so hard to say? My only worry with doing that um, is that, like, blitzing up in the food processor, it may make it, like, too small, you know? I, I mean, I guess if you did, like, a very short blitz on it or something, it would probably be okay. But I wouldn't want it to turn into, like, mush, you know? Like, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Also, I'm sad to say that provolone cheese is definitely not my favorite, but you couldn't find any American. I'm not a huge fan of American, actually. The only time I like American cheese is to put it in, like, uh, mac and cheese or something like that. I do like a little bit down in there. And then burgers. That's about it. Provolone is one of my least favorites, too, honestly, though. As I see Mr. Noodle saying. Um, but, like... <laughs> uh, now, I'm more of a fan of, like, cheddar and... Colby Jack and, and uh, Pepper, Pepper, is it Pepper Jack? Yeah, Pepper Jack, stuff like that. But like, yeah, it's my Instant Pot of food processor, I forgot. No, food processor is like a really fancy blender. Careful with that defluxer at full charge, it can explode Zerks like confetti. Let's go, dude. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Is he meant to look like Doc from Back to the Future? I noticed that you, you said something like that. I think maybe they were basing it off that kind of thing, honestly. This baby need- oh yeah, we already read that. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach a generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Yay, so he's <laughs> gonna give us the fuse that we need, then. I'm trying to see what kind of card this is. It's PCIe. I don't see any connectors on it, though. Is that VG... Oh, wait, no. Is that VGA? It looks like it might have a VGA connector on the back of it. Ancient graphics card? Nana has a blender but never uses it. Honestly, like, we have a couple blenders, and we hardly ever use those either. We use... Dude, why do you have Xerxes' as pets? <laughs> I guess to study. We uh we use it every once in a while for like to blitz up uh like chocolate chips or ice cream. I think is the last thing we use it for just to mix our ice cream base together or whatever, but yeah. Take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. Just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Thanks, bro. Mozzarella balls? Mozzarella balls would be good. Or mozzarella sticks. I'm all for the mozzarella sticks. Like Rue was saying, man. Mozzarella balls are good, don't get me wrong. But sticks? Dip it in some marinara sauce? Let's go, dude. Just pulse it a few times. Yeah, if you put it in a blender or the chicken in a blender or anything like that, you definitely don't want to, want to like, uh, just leave it on and forget about it. Because it'll, it'll, yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine that it'll end up being good. You'll end up with, like, that, uh, that pink goo from Teletubbies that they always try to say are actually chicken nuggets or whatever. <laughs> oh, the little balls, like, whenever you, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, you can buy mozzarella, like, little balls, and they come in a bag or, or a tub, and they're, they're in a brine whenever you buy them, and, like, yeah. Noodle really likes those. They're okay. They're not my favorite. I'd rather eat, like... Honestly, if I'm just eating mozzarella, I'd rather it be, like, string cheese or something, but... You did successfully make chicken wraps, though? Man, I just ate food. Don't make me hungry. <laughs> you mean cheese curdles? Yeah, no, no. These are literally... It's literally just, uh... Balls of mozzarella. 
Oh god, we're gonna die. Ah, uh, no, I can't jump. We're dead. We're so fucking dead. Yep. <laughs> Wait, go back? Why do I need to go back? What happened? What I do? <laughs> oh, is he shooting? Shooting them with it? Is that what that is? Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to help me. Oh, once he kills them all, he goes on to the next area. Dope. Okay. Can I get, like, a mini version of this to... to strap to my back or something? God, I'm lost. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I lost the cable. We went through- okay, yeah, we- we gotta go up here. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm back, but... I'm annoyed with stuff being over the actual, like, game screen. So, I'm going to make... A new one. <laughs> Basically. Try to, at least. Um... But I don't like how the stuff, the gray stuff is. So I need to, like, the backgrounds for this stuff. Okay, the actual chat. Oh, don't hide it. Can come, like, down. Yeah. That looks fine. Could be a tiny bit taller, though. So properties. Let's make it, like... that too tall no that's pretty much perfect just a tiny bit taller a uh, tiny bit taller uh, like that yeah okay so that's pretty decent but the background here for it Lock that. Is there any way... If I copy... Can I paste a duplicate? I can. Let's go. Okay, so the old background... Remove. And just a second, actually. Because first... I just want to make sure me messing with the new one... Isn't going to change the old one. OBS can be a little bit weird sometimes. Ah, you bastard. Rename. Back. Tall. Okay. So I want it to move down to the bottom here. And then if... Yeah, if I do that, see? I don't know why it, like... Why did it make it skinny? But it's not messing with the old one. At least not yet. Uh, filters, nothing. Properties. Aha! Okay. So. Ooh. Too much. That's close. That's pretty close. Okay. A little bit skinnier. Right about there. And then a little bit taller. A little bit more. Keep going. I don't think you guys can see this in real time, so... <laughs> I can make it, though. Yeah, hold on. There you go. Now it should be real-time view. Uh, anyways, okay. And then move it up. Something like that-ish. Maybe just a little bit. No, I think that's okay, actually. Lock it, and then it should be... Move down... 
to like there. What's wrong, Noodle? Twitch chat. You didn't come say hi. Oh, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I was going to like actually get up. Um, but like I have enough drink that I said screw it and uh, just started working on this layout because it's bugging me. I, I need a new layout for this. I can still come down and say hello, though, if you want. I'm not against that, love. Uh, where's the old background? Remove that one. I was hoping this would be a little bit quicker. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, one more background. So I need to take this one. Copy. Paste a duplicate. Um, name, all, oh, okay, delete the old one, yes, and then properties, change the size. Mostly just like bring it in. And the other one needs brought in a little bit just to get it off the side. My god, is this slow? Okay. Fourteen hundred? Okay, that's closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so right around there. That looks about right. And then this one should be a little bit skinnier. And then transform, edit. Right about there-ish. About there-ish. I promise this won't be too much longer. Transform, edit. Right about there. Um, okay. Properties just needs to be a little bit wider now. Line up with the other one. And a little bit shorter. Okay. Now. everything. <laughs> Not that. Leave that locked. Leave everything else locked, I think. Okay, these need to be, like, centered-ish in the screen. And then... need to be like centered ish in the screen something like that maybe uh that's good this needs to move up a little bit 
edit. I'm like that. And then transform edit. over just a couple to be centered up okay i think that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get At least for now. <laughs> it, gets, it gets the job done at least. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go say hi to Noodle because obviously she needs a little bit of attention. And then we're actually going to come back and play some more. So BRB again. And then the window's right here. See, so don't go up the stairs. I got it. I didn't realize that's what that was, man. I thought it was like... I don't know, the Zerks got intelligent suddenly and were, were seeking me out or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Let's go, dude. Give me a portable defluxer. Let me kill them bastards. I have to turn on my AC. I'll be RV. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. This guy thinks my drone is fancy. That's so cool. Also, I can't really, cause like you guys can't see my mouse, but the white picture right above his desk, it looks like it looks like there's a pair of balls. It's, I think it's meant to be the number three, like 35 equals something another. Look like a pair of balls. Just saying, sideways though. Anyways. <laughs> It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's go back to the village. I'm coming home. Muted. That's what we are. <laughs> I was saying. Sorry about the extended break. We're actually going to get started again now. As soon as I change one more thing, so I can't help but let it bother me. I'm terrible. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, the capture. Where is it? There it is. First off, that should be moved down to there. And then transform, edit. Okay. I want to... There. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Close. And... Get it so I can actually see the game. Okay. Fuck! Let's go. <laughs> Finally getting out of this place. I mean, not that I mind this place, though. It's a pretty cool little hideout, all things considered. We got chocobo. Oh shit, that's loud. <laughs> we got chocobos though, man. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Got to keep the chocobo somewhere. Might as well be in the cave right before we uh get into the hideout there. So where are we actually going? To there, I suppose. I can imagine at some point there will be like locations we can just travel to and from at will. I'm assuming. I could be completely wrong about that, but... The Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest Everlasting Night. Everlasting Night, you say, huh? I didn't even see the button for nearby activities. Until I just turned and looked at the stream. 
I wonder what the, the nearby activities are. Maybe that's something we'll get to, like, mess with later, though. I don't know. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital? I mean, Besides, maybe. What's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. When a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. That there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torgor. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose Don't like Storm for the name of the continent? It is a little odd, isn't it? I imagine there's some reason for it, though. Maybe during the fall of that ancient civilization or something. Maybe there were massive storms on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> Torgor was joined. Use the left to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Attack, heal, and ravage. Hmm. Launch an enemy into the air. The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equi equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Did that might be right? one we use. That one actually doesn't sound too bad to me. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut. Of course, if we use that one, though, that's a uh, a regular piece of equipment that we can't have equipped. So I guess that's kind of the trade-off there. Tell you what, I wasn't super impressed with the uh, the look of like the desert. It looked good, don't get me wrong, but not like amazing. This doesn't look too bad. Don't tell me you're afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. I was appreciating nature, my guy. Calm down. Music is beautiful as ever. Oh, okay. So Torgal heals us? Why is the game so loud in this section? Holy shit. Is there... I, I have to assume there's like a limited amount of healing that he can do or something though, right? Now like if we launch them into the air... Can we like combo off of that somehow? Or is it just for like stunning them temporarily? Here, hit me, Mr. Worgen. Thank you. Oh. So that green, the lighter green bar, is that what Torkoal can heal? We still have a way to go. Maybe that's how that works. Okay. That would kind of make sense. You look armored. I'm assuming normal strikes wouldn't work so well. Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of like Sid. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's try and stay out of its path. 
We like collect things. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> Not what I expected. Okay. Ow, you dick. Ah, I see. We have little, like, indicators on the screen, too, of, like, where people are. And I'm assuming, like, what attacks are coming from where and shit. Get wrecked. Game would look so much better when the camera's moving if it wasn't so blurry. <laughs> I hate freaking motion blur. Man. Okay. It's definitely better looking than I thought. After you. Thank you kindly. That's a little extra, dude. <laughs> He's not much bigger than you are. If you could fit through there, I'm pretty sure he could squeeze through there. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. I don't like this, uh, like, <laughs> ancient advanced civilization from the sky falling on us thing they got going on. Only because it keeps making me think of Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> and, and 13 is probably my least favorite of all the Final Fantasies that I've played. I can't help but feel there was some inspiration there, though. Uh, the music just stopped and you're not moving. Boss? New enemy, at least. That's topical. <laughs> Dick. Ah, you, dude, I was focusing on the magic burst combo. Why you gotta be rude? Oh, sick him, boy. Keep getting him. It's gonna take uh, some getting used to commanding him. I can see it now though, like I'm gonna be dying at some point and greatly in need of a heal. <laughs> and instead I'm gonna be uh, controlling Torgal as I'm dying. Please don't be Donald. <laughs> oh god. Nah, he's already got more use than Donald does. <laughs> he attacks too. Dragon Talon. Upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot, one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. Sharp Fang. If there is one thing for which the fauna of Valisthea do not want, it is more dagger sharp fangs to line their slavering maws. And so the Valistheans, fortunate enough not to succumb to said fangs, have conceived ingenious ways of fashioning them into myriad articles of virtu, ranging from cutlery to bijortery. <laughs> That's a word I don't know. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Does Torgal just, like, jump? Oh, he just, like, teleported over, didn't he? <laughs> I wanted to watch him jump across it. Well, it appears we won't be going. 
going this way. Or steel I silk? I haven't counted on that. Oh. Did you find something, boy? Oh, he's trying to point us in the right direction. Well, that's fine. I wanted to look over here. Calm down. Why trust your own animal instincts when you now have an actual animal which at your side? If you are lost, hold down L3 and Torgo will point you in the right direction. I'm coming, boy. I'm coming. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Torgo. Magic to ash. That's new. Is it just me or does the music remind you a little bit of 13 as well, man? Um, <laughs> those guys don't look friendly. Oh, good. We got some of the weird plant dudes, too. Vampire Thorn, huh? Oh shit, wrong button. Sick him, boy. A little help. I did not mean to use that heal there. That's weird, it didn't like... Is it a regen? This is stupid. I like wolves. I don't think they care, Sid. Yeah, it definitely doesn't heal us past the dark green. Like the the maximum whatever we have to use pat potions for that still, which makes sense, right? Free heals constantly would be a little broken, but now that we have some light green, okay, it healed in that case, but it doesn't seem to always heal it. I'm not 100% sure how Torgal's healing ability actually works yet. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. I mean, dude, they were wild creatures that were literally trying to murder you. <laughs> I, I I understand, like, not wanting to kill things needlessly, but they were trying to murder you. I think it's acceptable in this case. How many points do we have? Can we unlock any more abilities? Oh, shit. Hold on. Attributes. We have Torgo attributes. Just pedigree? Lifting attack and normal attack. I wonder how we upgrade that stuff. Hmm. Okay. Abilities. We have 521. Heat wave. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shock waves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. This one's still way too expensive. I kind of want to save up for it, though. I'm not going to lie. Summon a fire wing. What does the freaking mastery do? Does it just make it better? Are there any, like, cheap things that we could master that I care about? I mean, jumping doesn't seem like it's that important. But what about magic burst? I've been trying to do that as much as possible. So, sure. So, right now it has a half star of both. Maybe it just makes it stronger? Well, we can reset skills anyways now I think about it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh, cool. So you can just do recommended stuff as well. So it just bought all the basic stuff for us. That's fine. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Um... Oh, you can lock abilities. What does... I guess that's in case you don't want, like, the auto to do it for you. So it mastered the lunge. And gave us heat wave. Hmm. <laughs> details ah there we go okay so for the magic burst 
Mastery extends the trigger window. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. That's how it works. Um... Okay, I will just leave, we'll leave everything as it is. We'll look more into it later. Wait, am I going the right way? Torgal. Which way am I going, buddy? That way, okay, thank you. Got a little turned around for a moment. bloody hides. I do like, again, the whole thing where, like, if you can't hold something, it just uses it for you. Presumably because you can't return to this area to collect it later. So it just tries to give you some use of it. It's my guess. I wonder if it would still use it if you had, like, max health. Oh, you look friendly, eh? So much for staying out of his path, huh? Damn it, I accidentally hit circle instead of R1. Oh, oh, that, okay, he rolled. That was unexpected. Sick him, boy. Does he have health? Like, can Torgal fall in battle? Damn you. A little help. Yeah, it seems like it seems like maybe Torgal just initiates the uh the regen up to the max of whatever the light green is. Still can't seem to get the freaking the sword. Oh, that's not how I thought that would work. So you strike, keep holding, and then oh, okay. Keep forgetting about these abilities too. Should probably use those every once in a while. Oh, he's vulnerable to it. Well, in that case, hold on a sec. Gear and icons. Um, Rising Flame, Scarlet Cyclone. Can we swap that out for the new Heatwave one? I mean, he probably doesn't have any spells though. It's probably not actually worth it. But at the same time, I want to know what this one is. Oh, you can't change in combat. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Understandable. But if he's vulnerable to fire, I should definitely be using that more. Freaking Beyblades already, dude? Oh, damn you. Damn you, you bastard. Ow. I did not mean to potion again. That's going to take some getting used to, dude. <laughs> the switching between Torgal and items. Oh my god, I'm going to end up dying to this thing if I'm not careful.
coming for us? No. Okay. You good. It seems like that spin he does doesn't actually hurt us. When he like rolls over on himself. Get him, boy. Uh, not heal. Sick. Let's go. Fafnir of the North slain. Experience money. Fair bit of money. Gnarled scale and a wire right. Covered in countless scars, these scales tell a tale of supremacy and survival, albeit one now ended. Poor thing. Oh god, he's still alive, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. Stand back. Sid's going super saiyan on us. Bro, <laughs> Jesus. Why do you just do that to begin with, my guy? <laughs> Oh, I guess that's why. You're, you're dominant. I am. I. <laughs> yeah. Not by choice, man. Old bloody Roman strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Ramu. So Ramu, that's his name, of course. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? Maybe some peace of his own? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. <laughs> Anime off number eight, dominance known to be fatal. No oh no. <laughs> I'm guessing that's just a thing with the dominance in general. Someone great beast should command respect, but instead has left as outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. I'm basing that purely off of Joshua being sick whenever he started becoming dominant as well, but... but my days but, along behind me. Or... No, priming, I, I guess. Our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? We heal quick outside of combat. Will it go up to... Okay, yeah. Stop there. 777, seven, seven. was that happenstance? Or like... <laughs> I know Final Fantasy really likes their 777s. Seven, seven, it's probably just coincidence. Clyde, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant fight? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest Dark Hill. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without a brooding protagonist. Oh, you guys are new. Rack him, boy. He actually knocked them down for us, not knocking them, not uh, not knock them up. That's pretty useful. Oh, now he's using his lightning powers. Sharp fangs. Any goodies hiding around here? No. Oh, more baddies though. Get wrecked. Get 
fine hound? What was that trophy for? Guessing just having him kill like a certain number of creatures. Only one way appears we can go, I lied. And we'll be in lost ring in no time. In no time. Right. Okay, so wait, it wants us to go that way then. So hold up. What's this way? Can we get a map of this area? No. Oh. It's just another way around. Okay, well. <laughs> Back down we go! <laughs> Ow, you dick. Hey, Sid. Or not Sid. Uh, Torgle. Yeah, can you get that hornet down for me, bud? Appreciate you. It's over. Level up, let's go. 13. More health, more other stuff. Cool. Numbers up. Always good. Free potion. Our health is now full. I'm assuming actually it went full as soon as we leveled up. No hidden goodies. More these things. Vampire thorns. So looks like it's probably just another just another way around. I don't know if there really are like secrets to find in these levels or not. Well maybe. Back down there. Just a potion. I mean, presumably, the farther we get into the game, the more, like, fanciful loot we'll find. Instead of just potions all the time. The occasional high potion. Here's to be everything up here. Oh, it's one of those things again. A wyvern. How fun. Ow. Sick him, boy. Kick. Get wrecked. Y'all want to hit him? Like, now's the time, dude. Can we get a menu that'll let us control Sid as well? <laughs> so he actually attacks a little bit. Maybe uses some of that Thunder God power he's got. Would be handy sometimes. So will it pick up? Yeah, it picks up everything. Cool. I didn't know if it was just the gill or literally everything. Ooh, a chest. Meteorite. Upgrades are nice. That appears to be everything. Onward, then. Speaking of high potions. Quiet. The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. They looking for our friend. The other fire dominant.
Oh look, it's Benedicta, our favorite. They're just down that way. All of them. Grigor's my witness. Excellent. <laughs> what a dick. I, I, I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Okay. I think I think we know what happened there. You've caught up to the Ionic Challenge? So I haven't even played the Ionic Challenge other than the first like I don't know, three minutes of it, five minutes of it. Commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! Let's get this over with then. Guess we got a new goal now. Capture Benedicta. At least they're not giant lizards. Holy shit, dude. Are these dudes just really weak? No, no, they're not that weak. He just outputs some damage, man. Oh, never mind. This one's fancy. He can teleport like I can. Ow. You dick. Okay, I figured he would be immune to being knocked in the air, but couldn't help but try. Cinematic clash when the screen flashes orange. Okay, this one's new. Repeatedly tap square. Get wrecked. <laughs> that was freaking close, dude. There you go, just deck him in the face, I like it. Two of us can do the teleporting, you know. Damn it. <laughs> One of us is a bit better at it than the other, though. <laughs> There he is. Assassinate? I'd rather you didn't, man, actually. What is fire magic too? Okay. This guy's got a bit of everything, man. Let's go, let's go. Get him, boy. I wish I had that other ability equipped now, because this guy definitely seems to use magic. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> That kind of hurt, admittedly. Oh, 
Come on, dude. He's so close. Just get him. Look at our boy learning, man. GG, Mr. Raven. All the gold, dude. Badge of might plus attack. Yeah, increased attack by seven. War to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle. The feeling of accomplishment it enkindles in the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. And meteorite. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. There in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Fair enough. Stage replay and arcade mode. Stage replay and arcade mode are now available in the hideaways of Redstone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on the new options. Cool. So you can kind of replay missions. So if I am able to travel to this location, okay. But I imagine I can probably go back here right now. I'm not going to. I have no real reason to at the moment, but... Yeah, screw it. Can we? Will it work? I mean, it seems to. Yeah, okay. Cool. Ooh, and we got some new items? I mean, if we got new items available... We might as well check out the new stuff. <laughs> No new missions, so. Look what the curl dragged in. It's kind of rude. Go on, then. Long sword, which is worse than what we have right now, but it's worth noting we have a broadsword plus two. Wolfskin sash. It's, it's a better belt. Traveler's bands. I wonder. Is it better to? buy the equipment and then upgrade it or it's like other than buying potions which you can carry so few of what else do you need the money for we can craft it with a gnarled scale but I imagine yeah we need a gnarled scale for the upgrade as well just for the plus one though But it takes a lot of wire right to make one. Also takes a dragon scale. Hmm. <laughs> 14 bloody hide. 
We don't need bloody hide for anything else. Screw it. Let's go ahead and make a wolfskin sash. No scratches, right? Sure. Equip it. And then... It takes, like, meteorite to upgrade everything, dude. Screw it. Upgrade it. Yeah, Whatever. I should do you. I imagine these basic items aren't limited. So we could still make that longsword. Plus one. Fuck it. Just make it. I do say so myself. No point thinking about it forever. Can we upgrade to a plus two? We can. Thank me later. And then no more crafting. We could probably buy a traveler's band though. I feel a little bit like I'm gonna regret wasting all these materials early on, but checking an interest, are you? Oh fuck! I forgot they don't talk during this part. Taking an interest, are you wondering why such a com com comely, comely, cultured lady would cast her lot with this rabble? Because she's got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser. That's why I scratch sits back and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring whatever him and his little band need, and then they pay what I ask. And to sweeten the deal, he's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill. There's no shortage of them, believe you me. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Okay, well, we have better longsword. Uh, traveler's band. We could upgrade to be better than what we have. What do we have? We have a lot of gold. Screw it, dude. It better I'll be here. Come again. Oh, don't. oh, you know what? Look Hold on. I forgot to sell. Go on, then. Broadsword plus two. Uh, we can always make an upgrade it later. Sure, works. whatever. Get rid of it. Same with everything. Just I'll sell it all. You got that much. And bracers plus two. Yeah. I reckon I can find a buyer. Oh shit, I forgot to equip that. The badge of might. Is that all? Do that now before I forget again. Badge of might. One more time to the blacksmith. And actually, what's your story, man? We've been to you a few times. Well, I ain't the cook, am I? Though if you've tasted Kenneth's brown, I might as well be. Look, Sid need a smith and I need a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. And we'll have no bearers suffering for me. Needs repairing. You got anything that needs repairing or retooling, you bring it here, along with your own materials and any scraps left over I keep. What'd you want? Can you upgrade? You can do plus one. My best work, but it'll do. We need meteorite again. Anything else? Wonder if at any point they'll start like selling basic crafting materials, or if we can There's a good girl. go back to places like the forest we were just in to get more. With that said, I doubt we get any actual materials from here, right? Replay any previously cleared stage and be awarded a score based on performance. Restrictions on level gear consumables are applied. Gameplay mode will default to action. Replay any previously cleared stage by a current level. Treasure coffer data is retained. While accessing the red stone, Clive can replay any of the main scenario's major battle sequences. The smoke can be used to revisit cutscenes, collect forgotten items, earn experience, and AP, or retry missed achievements. Okay, yeah. So from the sound of it, we can use that to farm a, uh, crafting materials and shit, too. And that should help with, like, anything that's potentially missable in the game. So I know at some point, there's at least side missions that you can miss. Or side quests. Because that's the, the one video about the game that I watched before playing. Was, uh, what missables there are. And they said, there's not really much, just some side quests, but the game lets you know when you're about to enter a point of no return. 
The Holy Empire of Sumbrek. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ring. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. Shame that. Sid would know all about airships, huh? Think her dominance waiting for us in that village. My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Yeah, take my my vitamin D before I forget. What is that? Oh, uh, that's one of the fast travel points in Obelisk. Okay. Oh, so this is a place we can return to. Dope. Okay. Via the, both the world and local map. Clyde only need approach to a tune. That's ripped out of 14. A tuning with, I forget what they were called. Mm, Aether stones. Aether, ether, however you want to pronounce it. That's what they were called in 14. And words. Uh, well, first, before we forget, a tune. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Wait, was that <laughs> was that the attuning? Very well then. Detailed map. It's a big area, and then a smaller area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad we did that. Farmland of some sort? It is. Bruh. Can we... Oh my god, okay. Why did we just suddenly start running? If we've run long enough, does it just automatically like increase speed? Well, maybe if we go long enough. There was stuff. Sprigs of Valley Matter. Oh, this area isn't quite as big as I thought it was. Although there is... There's a random little offshoot to the side down here. What's that about? Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, we're running still. <laughs> I thought we were going to start running and then it's instantly going to ruin it. I really do wish they would have just put like a run button in the game though instead of like that automatic running thing. This. It's weird that they have it locked behind running in a straight line for long enough. Calm down, boy. Is there anything else hidden around here? There's gotta be more stuff. I refuse to believe it was just two sprigs of Mad Hat or whatever. <laughs> Valley, Valley Matter? Some old houses that we can't interact with. Silver Lobo. You're new. Are you just a stronger worgen? Damn you. Keep your distance, boy. And another level up. They feel super quick, but that's probably just because we're still early game. Some black blood. Yummy. What 
Doesn't appear to be anything else of interest around here, though. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? I say we just go down there and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> if they fight back, they're foe. If not, then well. Oh, dude, just a couple royals? We can deal with them. Screw them. They're only level 13. We're level 14. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Not when we got a freaking dire wolf on our side. How much damage? Oh, not that. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize we parried. How much damage does uh, the magic burst actually do? Is it worth it? That's what I want to know. Does it do its own damage? Okay, yeah, it does like another... Like 50% of the normal attack. Probably worth it. What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. Really? Five gil? That was, that was the treasure? I mean, I guess it was right on the road. <laughs> Anything better probably would have been picked up already. By some passerby. Station nearby, okay. Welcome to Lost Wing, I guess. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. <laughs> Such an ass. I don't even know what he looks like. He probably doesn't know what we look like either. Like <laughs> we're gonna end up getting into a fight with the dude. It's not really our fault. I mean, it can be. This gonna end up being a new hub town. <laughs> that sounds like a child. Accessible. There's gate. Hmm. <laughs> this seems like a trap. Hello, crying child. It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In, in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? She might want to stay just a little bit quieter, too. Pretty obvious, man, when she's just wailing over there. Is that a blue glow? I think I see a blue glow. Blue glow is stuff. Where? How? How stuff? Or not. Can we break the shit? No, dude, come on. <laughs> it's... Uh, we could so easily climb over that. Oh, it's like, it's moonlight. It wasn't actually stuff. Okay, fair enough. Drinks and food? It's a menu? I'm surprised that was viewable. Nowhere else to go in here.
presume we can explore this area more later. Like, it doesn't need to be done right now, but I can't help myself. Oh, shit. Okay. That just connects to there. Damn it. It's like it would have been a nice time town once upon a time. Or black blood. Who just keeps some black blood in a chest like that, dude? What kind of serial killer shit we got going on in this town? Maybe it's for the best all these people were taken or hidden away or whatever. I don't think they were killed because there's no bodies, no blood. Well, other than what's in the chest. I guess maybe that dude or whatever. Whoever's chest that was. <laughs> maybe they're the reason everybody's gone. Alright, to the mission point. I don't see anything else to do. Oh, really? You could jump over that. Don't lie to me. I lied. Oh, it's blocked off. Never mind. Go that way later. Church basement? This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog. About time. Stand back. You couldn't just kick it, dude. Does you really need to be that extra? Who the hell are you? Clay! He wasn't kidding about the shout. You still alive, gal? Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Fireball his ass, dude. What are, you, what are you just letting him get away for? You know, now would be an excellent time for us to be able to just run. Full sprint ahead. Let's go. Of the others, the bearers have been taken to Care Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast. Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks to our lady of the wind and the king. Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. 
Mercy. <laughs> God, dude. How are more people not defecting from her? <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. But I was getting bored. Again, can't remember their name, but she's got the wind god, I see. Yup. <laughs> Oh, wait. What? She has the ability to summon creatures? Interesting. Ow. Let's go. Damn you. Oh, the Phoenix shift can like take us up in the air too. That's cool. I really need to equip that other ability, man. That we got the other Phoenix ability. Get knocked down. Ow. We're fine. We got it. Let's go. Come on. Give me the Phoenix shit. Before she gets up, let's go. Get wrecked. Tirada slain. Weird that a random creature would be carrying gold, but whatever. Cleric's Medallion. I guess that's true for all the creatures. At a glance, what appears to be a holy relic able to channel the power of the divine into curative energies actually contains the dust of a light-aspected crystal known to be a catalyst of the restorative arts. Increase healing potion potency. That's pretty cool. Then the ash that we've been collecting. All creation is possible because of either. It is what gives us the formless form and the lifeless life. When an object is consigned to the flames, whether due to age, accident, or ill intent, the ether contained within is released and returned to the land. There are, however, rare instances in which an elemental charge remains trapped inside the resulting de detritus, de detritus, and skilled weaponsmiths can harness this energy for use in their work. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded... Clive. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. They got history. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Ooh. <laughs> Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy something is new. And 
she's gone. Just give him that look. He knows what to do. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gab. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. Let the scout do the scouting, dude. You worry about yourself. So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Fuck any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Life had been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah, this is our own, <laughs> innit? Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. I was wondering if they were going to join, or why they hadn't already. One hundred full legions beyond Dragoon led, and watched as a million ghosts turned pale and fled. His lance leveled mountains, its thunders heard deep. The skies over Stormbreak bore Listen, their Clive. bloody leap, and through the revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Right. You're content to be a slave then. They really have to make the drinking noises so obvious, dude. Come on. Uh, I hate the sound of people eating and drinking. Paranor events would have us believe the imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions. Could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. So maybe you are distracted. Maybe Clive isn't it for it. My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Rude. Lord Margrace, don't!
I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Hmm. Okay. That <laughs> just that just brings more questions, man. Clive. Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Dead of night. Story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Hideaway's trading post, as well as new forging recipes at the Black Hammer. Yeah, we kind of discovered that already. At this hour. Interesting. Okay. The tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's kiss. Well. Everything that was locked off before still appears to be, so I see nothing else to do. Though what is You're the kind man who saved mommy. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you? Ah, merchant, nice. But you're free to look. Hey, okay, so you do sell meteorite. And the valley matter. Although it's expensive. The valley stuff isn't, that's pretty cheap. Inconspicuous shrub commonly found growing near mother crystals. Its roots are harvested to create a deep red dye. But unlike most pigments, matter root extract is more than merely stained cloth. It imbues it with a faint elemental charge that can ethereally enhance both bearer and crystal-based magics. Interesting. It's so very expensive, but if we do need the stuff... Ooh, ooh, a curiosity. Adds a new song. I guess that's something to do with money. Um, we shouldn't have anything to sell. Oh, we need to equip Good the medallion, day. though. Thank you for reminding me of that, Mr. Merchant Guy. Um, there it is. Clerics. Healing potion potency. Good stuff. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you hmm. find that one? Oh, him? You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? 
that he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only have a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. Enjoy your shower, love. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Did he just give us alcohol? <laughs> you accept the hanged man. May the mothers guide you. Never mind. <laughs> I'd expect him to just hand us a bottle of alcohol. That'll loosen some tongues for you. <laughs> this might be Imperial Land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. I'll take door number two, please. Let's see if this thing really works. Other information from the villagers, okay. Map still closed, map still closed. And that's all you can remember. I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Somebody had to have seen something though, like there's no way nobody did. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. But there I was thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have, though. Thank you. Okay. I'm assuming that's the next person we're going to talk to, then. One of the bearers. A nice little town, dude. Honored visitor, might I ask that you pray with us for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters from evil? Calm down, Torgal. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that you weren't alone. 
was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church, and wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. It is weird they took them in a pair, huh? Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Was it just in an attempt to get him to talk, or is there a reason they need to stay together? The hanged man is always watching. As if he had aught better to do. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. Not particularly, sadly. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? I guess we shall. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. At least at the moment. I see us coming back here sooner or later, though. There's a lot of blocked off passages. About those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. What a dick. <laughs> wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quinton. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. Bruh, for real? The <laughs> saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. We're a spot on the floor? <laughs> like, the least you could do is give us a bed to go and do this little job for you. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then. Okay, so that's open now. And the way we're going. Unless Conveniently enough. Open another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate well. Appreciate your out with the Royalists barricade earlier. We'll see you the rest. Even though I want to keep playing, <laughs> I really do. I, uh, I sadly work tomorrow. And it's getting late. I still got to shower and get ready and stuff for tomorrow. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Let's make sure... I'm sure the game has an autosave system. Let's make sure to get an actual save in. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, whatever. There we go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me while I play a little bit of Final Fantasy 16. I do hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Yourselves. <laughs> I most certainly did. I love this game so far, dude. I really, really do. It's a ton of fun. If you have a PS5, again, I highly suggest you check out the demo. But again, that's all for tonight, guys. Thank you one last time, and I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Be playing either this or Grounded. To be determined. <laughs> so until then, uh, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye. Go, dude. So how do I... If I just... Do I just turn on, like, the... The flashlight or something? How do I... How do I 